you won't help me clean but you'll support me while i do it i appreciate that hi guys how's everybody doing i'm in the middle of deep cleaning po so we can do this together um it always first of all it always glitches on my side like i can never see comments coming in for like the first minute and um while we wait for everybody to jump on why don't you guys tell me where you're tuning in from i love that you guys already know that <laughs> i'm from indiana hello hi guys hi friends Tell me where you're tuning in from. Eric! Oh my gosh, Eric, I'm so glad you're in here because I almost was gonna warn everybody that we're gonna have a really rough live because I thought you were out of service camping. So <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, Eric, I'm so glad you made it. Thank you for being in here. Felix K, I didn't know you were in San Diego. I was just down there. Florida, Utah, Ohio, Oakland. Hi guys, Santa Barbara. Oh my gosh, so many of you in California. I was just there. Minnesota, Virginia, Sydney, Australia. Oh my gosh. Texas, Alaska. You might see me up there soon. Tampa, the edge of heaven. You're funny, Keith. Texas, Michigan. My Michigan gangsters are in the house. Nice. Hi guys, hi, hi, hi. Atlanta, nice. The devil's armpit, aka Arizona. It's so funny, it's probably so hot there. You guys, I saw on um, my weather app, can I set you up here, is this gonna work out? That it was 108 in Joshua Tree today. Oh my gosh, speaking of somebody just tuned in from Joshua Tree, isn't it 110 today? Are you alive? How are you faring? Tell me. Algeria, oh my gosh, you guys are everywhere. I'm at a Whole Foods parking lot and Blue is like freaking out watching everybody pull in and out of parking spots. Are you going to continue the road trip now? Yeah, of course. Well, yeah, we'll get into that more later, but uh, yes. If Poe will get me there. Hi from Michigan. Montana, Colorado, Belgium. Oh my gosh, I love seeing these international roamers. Scotland. Very nice. Hi guys, Vancouver, Canada. I'm not far from you. Was the expo fun and wasn't able to make it? Just drove from Virginia. Yes, it was amazing. I will be at every single Pacific Northwest Expo for the rest of my life, so long as I can make it. That is my... Um, my conclusion of expo sorry i'm trying to read how is poe better okay poe <laughs> uh i know you guys just watched the video from it was two weeks ago for me where like i had that ten thousand dollar week um since then poe has had a new issue believe it or not uh, um he needs a new lift pump so pretty much it's like the pump that takes the fuel from the tank and brings it to the fuel injector pump which i just had replaced now that is going out so like in the morning when i first start the truck i get a really rough idle and then um sometimes it shuts off and then it's like if i can get it up and running then it's fine throughout the day but i'm just uh yeah i'm kind of waiting around this area because i have an, an appointment in two days to get my lift pump replaced but luckily that's only like a couple hundred bucks i think so yeah I know I am going to be a maintenance expert. Honestly, I asked the guy at the shop um, when I was like making the appointment. I'm like, could, I, could you just give me the part and I'll just do it myself? Because it's like four bolts or something, but he didn't have it at that time. So thank you for saying congrats on almost 100K. I know I can't even imagine. I'm probably going to ball my eyes out. It's crazy. Orange County, not far from Rovers. Yeah, go tell Jerry I said hi and I miss him. What did Eric say? Oh, he's crap talking Poe. Whatever. Whatever, Eric. Maybe Poe needs a Japanese brother. You know, he probably does. A Land Cruiser was on my list of my four rigs that I wanted, but now that everybody's telling me to get one, I'm like, mm, 
now I don't want one. <laughs> Blue, stop. He is, uh, Bubby is currently, like, trying to create no bald spots on his toes. So. Blue Sith, leave your feet alone, would ya? Not good? Will we see more of Cena? Um, you probably will see him in one more video and then he is heading north for work. So probably one more video. And then he's leaving us. Do you ever think about getting a van? No, I don't. Go get a brand new Defender. I don't really like the new Defenders. Is that like sacrilegious of me to say? Can the rig get air conditioning? Yes, it's very expensive, but you can do it. I think I might save up all year and do it next summer. We'll see. Is Poe gonna make it up here to Alaska? <laughs> you tell me and we'll both know. Is that a new JBL speaker? Yeah, my old one died. And I, li I liked the red one because my dad always told me that red is my color. So I got it because my dad says that. Why am I holding it? Oh, because I'm cleaning over here. See, I always like try to do tasks on live. You guys, I'm like, oh, I'll do this and be live. And then I forget that I get so easily distracted that I can never um, do both. What kind of music do you like? I like a little bit of everything. Like everybody always says that, but I, um, I don't know. I love 80s rock. And honestly, if you go to my 50 state road trip playlist on Spotify, you'll see what I listen to most of the time. Isn't blue your color? That's funny. Are you planning anything exciting for reaching 100K subscribers? I am. I'm planning a few things. Yes. Hold on. Sorry. I'm trying to catch up on comments. Eric, can you do that thing where you slow it down? If possible. If you don't mind. Oh, Careless Whisper. Yeah, that's my anthem for life. What is your long-term goal with your channel? That's a good question. Um, honestly, just to keep doing this for as long as you guys want to watch me. As long as that makes sense. I would be, I kid you not, like a 65-year-old grandma still truck camping around the world. So, I just honestly, I'm sure things will change a little bit or I might get other rigs to add to the fleet or I might, I don't know. Like, I'm sure like the situations will change as years go on because life is always changing if you will but i just want to do this forever so <laughs> no cena does not have a channel thank you eric how old is blue he is seven he'll be eight this fall Would you, somebody said something about kids. I probably won't have kids. Just being realistic. I would have to, if I were to have kids, I would have to marry somebody. Like my husband would have to be like, we need to have a child for me to be like, okay. Like, I think I'd be a good parent and I would like, like I love kids. Like I love my nieces and stuff, but I just, I'm too like independent, especially right now. Maybe when I'm like 40, I'll get bored, but. I would be super happy never having a child. I don't feel like I have to to be happy in life. My dad just said, you're giving me grandkids. It's so funny you say that, dad, because the other day I was talking to Christian about this subject and he was like, um, he was like, somebody has to give dad a grandson. And I was like, Christian, dad's grandson is right there. <laughs> Apparently my uh, 
family is rooting for me to have a child, but probably not. Let's be realistic. Do I miss Rue? No, I don't. I miss the fact that Rue accelerates faster than Poe did, but that's about it. What would be the next rig? It would just be another boxy 4x4 that's probably just as unreliable. It'd be like a old Ford Bronco or a International Scout or like I would get a land I wanted a 60s Land Cruiser, but now everybody wants you to get a Land Cruiser and so now I'm like, no, I want to be different. <laughs> I don't know. I might do that later. Um, somebody just said I look 40 the way I'm gonna block you no, I'm, just kidding. I'm kidding but I'm not how dare you say that I'm not even 30 sorry guys I'm trying to catch up on comments when am I coming back to Colorado? I don't know. I was thinking of going to Mountain West Expo, but it would really be out of my route, out of the way. So we'll see. We shall see. Thank you, Heather. I know. Somebody's just trying to rile me up. You and Mav would be good friends. I get that all the time. I had to look up who Mav was like a month ago because I was getting so many comments about it. Can Papa Reckless tell you an embarrassing story about you? I'm, he could tell you so many. He could tell you so many. Nice tan. That's so funny you said that. I was on a FaceTime with my dad this morning and he was like, honey, you have a nice tan. Thanks, dad. Ready for me to be in the southern states? Yeah, that's gonna have to be during the winter because I can't do the uh, heat. I need snow. When are you gonna braid your hair, hair again? When I see my mother, because my mom is the one who braids my hair. So I don't do that myself. <laughs> when I see good old Jenny. We'll uh, get my hair braided, okay? Just turn the AC on, lol. How do you sleep at night? I have no idea, honestly, with a fan. I'm your favorite YouTuber, thank you so much. That's so sweet. My mom said just fly me out. I will, mom, for those braids, I will. Thank you, Denise, that is so sweet. You don't have to do that, but I appreciate you. That is so nice of you. Have you ever stopped at a Bucky's? Yeah. I camped at a Bucky's many times. Also got kicked out of a Bucky's. Hi from Northern <coughs> Ireland. I love Ireland. My favorite place in the world is actually Ireland. Funny enough. Where's your coffee or Olipop? In the Whole Foods Park. I'm in the parking lot. I need to go get one inside. Idaho misses you. Come back. I will be. Okay. <laughs> ASAP. I love Idaho. It's so funny, I've met so many people recently that have asked me about my favorite place on the road trip, and every time I say it's Idaho, everybody's like, what? But Idaho's the best. Mama and Papa Reckless are in here? Yes, they are. We're just missing my brother. And my sister, but usually my sister is working. Thank you, Kyla. I know, I'm very, I'm very lucky to uh, have the family I do. My parents are like my social circle. Like I think, I was saying to somebody the other day, it's kind of like embarrassing that when somebody talks about my friend group, I just think of my parents because they're, they're my friends. I, somebody who was talking about Olipop flavors, to be honest, the root beer is kind of like the only one I really go for. Oh my gosh, how am I supposed to clean? I cannot focus.
My mom said the cola is good. Thank you, Alexa. I appreciate that. Thanks for the support. Is Poe fixed? Yes and no. He's fixed from all the stuff you guys saw in the last video, but now he needs a new lift pump, so. You know it. Are you still having car problems? Yes, always. I'm sure I will. But you know what? What I will say, you guys, is that I'm still so excited and happy that I got a Defender, okay? Everybody's like, oh, you're going to regret that. I don't... I think Poe is still killing it, like, for what he is. Come on. Did you finally catch up on your sleep? Finally. Barely, though. I'm still tired. Thank you so much for the donation. Oh, my gosh. Appreciate you. Wish I could do what you do right now? You can. You need a mechanic on retainer? I know. I should just get my brother to travel with me <laughs> all the time. Where's my grand pup? He's right here. Bubby, stop. Chewing on his feet, which he shouldn't be. Stop it. There's Bubby. Bubby, say hi to your Grammy. She's in the chat. I am going to clean Poe's windows for, I think, the first time ever. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up. Do your parents worry about you lapping on the road? My dad worries about me breathing, and my mom is like, she's going to figure it out. My mom doesn't. I think my mom worries, like, I like be safe and I love you, but she's like, you're fine. You're capable. My dad is like, you're going to die every minute of every day. You don't know how to live. So that's my dad. <laughs> you guys, thank you for the donations. Heather and Robbie, you are so sweet. You don't have to do that, you guys, but thank you so much. What YouTubers do you follow? That's a really good question. I thank you, Alexa, so much. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet. Stop sending me money though. Stop it. Uh, what YouTubers do I follow? I really don't follow that many YouTubers. I, I'm trying to think. If I wasn't live on my phone, I could look. You know who I love? You know which YouTubers I love? I watch their videos every single sec like the second it drops like the only youtubers i really do that for are Eamon and beck i don't know if you guys know who they are but they're van lifers which is funny because i'm like i respect van lifers like i you know it's like everybody obviously has a when it comes to vehicle camping or living everybody has their own preferences but i'm not like in the van life culture at all i uh i understand why other people are but i just am more into like old four by four so i my point is I don't watch van lifers or really anybody that does like content like mine either. But Eamon and Beck are like the sweetest souls on planet Earth. I love them. Those are like the YouTubers I'm obsessed with right now. Yeah, like I cry for Eamon and Beck when she had like a cancer scare a couple months ago. I was like, oh my gosh, the way I was praying for her. It was crazy. What other YouTubers do I watch? I know I watch some, but... I watch like Jay Shetty. I watch a lot of like personal development podcasts on YouTube. Like I watch like podcasts on YouTube, but not like YouTubers. Oh, I love Ryan Trahan. I also love him, but it's pretty much like Ryan Trahan and Eamon and Beck. Those are like the only ones I really watch. And then just like I said, podcasts. Or like my friends, like Gone Jeepin, Jeep Sheep TV. Like I watch them. But as far as like people I don't know, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm so happy they're having a baby too. Oh my gosh. They're gonna be the best parents. Can you imagine having Eamon and Becca as your mom and dad? That kid is so lucky. Um, 
Jones. Am I cooking later? I wasn't going to. I was just going to keep cleaning, but I haven't eaten yet today, so maybe I should. Do you watch sailing? I don't. I literally only watch Eamon and Beck and Ryan Trahan. And then just interviews of like people I'm interested in and like Jay Shetty. That's it. There's gotta be more people, but not like, you know what I'm saying? Not like YouTubers. It's more like podcasters that I watch. Oh, I love Eamon and Beck. They're so sweet. I wanna meet them. I wanna like be friends. Those are people I wanna be friends with. You know what I mean? <laughs> such sweet people i watch joe rogan sometimes but i'm not like a diehard like my brother you know sid says hi oh my gosh did you guys see in my most recent video eric's aussie puppy at the end if you didn't you need to go back and watch it that dog is the love of my life oh my gosh Cena doesn't have a channel, no. People are saying collab, don't collab. You guys, I honestly don't know how I, this is just not, not to anyone specific, but just in general. I don't know how I would collab with anybody because I'm so awkward, like, the reason my channel works is because I'm alone. What would I do with someone else? <laughs> Hi, brother. Christian's in the chat. So now we got the trifecta. If my sister wasn't working, we would have the whole fam here. Huberman Lab podcast. My mom loves him. Oh my gosh that's so funny i swear anytime i get on live everybody's like who are you dating it's like you guys come on so sweet how supportive my fam is i know i love them hi hello hello it's everybody just tuning in You guys, I feel like I should move spots. We've been in one spot too long. How far are you into your 50 state road trip? I have to count it. I've been meaning to count it. Um, I haven't yet. I don't know. 12 states would be my guess. 14. I don't know. I don't know. Right? I'm from New Zealand. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's Midnight Murph. That's so funny. <laughs> I am in a relationship with Poe. That's why I kissed him when he was on the tow truck. It was very sad. What's the temperature right now? 78, I think. How's Calvin doing? He's good. He's having a baby. He's gonna be a dad. But thriving per usual. Roaming without AC in a heat wave. I tried to do that and I almost passed out. So it's gonna be a no from me. <laughs> what are your plans for Alaska to get there safely without breaking down? How do you sleep with no AC? With a fan and I pray. The most expensive relationship of your life is Poe, I know. Worth it though. Where are you? I can't, I can't say for safety reasons.
How do you typically plan when you're where you're going next? You bounce around state to state. Yeah, so um Hi exploring in the unknown, my hype man. What's your credit card number? Bruh. My mom just said you're post sugar mama. That's so funny. Um, thank you, Eric. Oh, okay. Let me answer this question. How do I plan my route? Pretty much there's like certain regions of the country I like to be in during certain times of the year. So like, for example, the South I'll be hitting in the winter because I don't want to be there in the summer and deal with heat. So I kind of like, I don't have a strict plan, but I just like, know I need to be in certain States by certain months, if you will. Or like for expo, for example, I had a date I had to be there. So I'll just kind of like pop around and plan out the in-betweens. So I have like bullet points of States and times, and then I fill in the middle. If that makes sense. For example, never around me. Christian, I'll be around you. I think in the fall or the spring. Whoever Brian is, I'm definitely not dating you. Nice try, though. <laughs> Hashtag Topo. So funny. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up. Nice to see you in here. It was 114 degrees today where you live. That is crazy. I would quite simply move and never look back. You plan on hitting Alaska? Yes, I do. <laughs> of course. I'm not bored. I'm just really tired and haven't had enough coffee today. I'm going to be a solo female car camper next month. Good for you. That's awesome. Be safe. You guys, talking about yawning is making me yawn. Oh, did I miss someone donating? Brenda, thank you so much. That is so generous. You don't have to do that. You guys are so sweet. Stop, I'll cry. You need to bring Poe and Blue to the island. Which island? How do you trust your car after so many breakdowns? I just... Roaming reckless. I just keep wishing for the best, you know? Gabby! Hi! My friend Gabby's in here. I love her. Oh my gosh. Have you guys ever just met somebody and they're like pure sunshine in a person? That is Gabby for me. Oh my God. I literally have never met somebody that is just so themselves and just like makes you want to be more yourself. What an angel. Where's the destination of your trip now? I cannot tell you. What app do you use for camping sites? I Overlander. Viper, hi. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to catch up. I know, I keep saying I overlander, and then I'm like, maybe I shouldn't, because I they're, all my sites are getting overrun. Now I just, like, need to find secret sites that people don't know. <laughs> how does mom feel about your travels? We should ask her if she's still in the chat. Mom, how do you feel about my travels? My mom honestly takes it way better than my dad does. My mom is very chill about it. But I will say, and I hate to say this publicly because my dad is just gonna reference it all the time, but every time my dad has warned me about something, he's been right. Like last year I was in Idaho and there's wildfires and he called me and he's like, there's wildfires around you, you need to be careful. You don't get like sucked up in them. I'm like, dad, so you're so dramatic. I'm not gonna get sucked up into a wildfire. And then I got trapped in this corner of Idaho where like the smog was super bad you couldn't even breathe it in and like I kept getting rerouted because all the highways were shutting down whatever 
parents are right sometimes, I guess. You guys, it's freezing on my end. Can you guys hear me? Comment if you can hear me. Oh no. You guys! Is this still live? I don't know if we have paused or if there's something going on on my end, but I cannot see anything incoming. Will Poe make it to Hawaii? Let's hope. Hold on, you guys. I gotta figure this out. Why are you not working for me? Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, it's just the chat. Pause. I'm just stupid. <laughs> Okay, you guys can hear me, that's good. Eric texted me, probably telling me what was going on, but I can't, since I'm on my phone when I do live, I can't see my text, Eric, so I'll see that after. Thank you so much for the donation from Puerto Rico. You're so sweet, thank you. You guys don't have to send me money though. It makes me feel guilty, okay. <laughs> Viper, thank you. How would you get your truck to Hawaii? floaties you know what i'm saying did expo make you feel super awkward it didn't make me feel i mean i am so awkward in person anyways um that's just natural if you're gonna meet me in person i'm so i'm so awkward but um no i was super excited to meet everybody i just i was on so little sleep that in the middle of expo on saturday i had to go up into the alu cabin take a nap because i was talking to people to their face and falling asleep like somebody was saying something to me and i was like yeah like i had to like it was awful so i people probably thought i was nuts but i was just like deliriously tired um and so saturday was really rough sunday was obviously a little bit better because i slept saturday night but yeah you know how it goes. <laughs> Where's Blue? He's right next to me sleeping. Hi from New Hampshire. Stop. Don't say who's that guy in the background. I hate when you guys do that. It scares me. I am awkward. I'm very awkward. Will you get a new puppy anytime soon? It's so funny because I wanted to get a puppy when we were um, doing the fundraiser. And then I also wanted to get another puppy because Blue's lineage was like they had their last litter and he they weren't going to have any more. So it was like any chance of having something related to Blue was this last litter. And I was like, oh, I wanted to, but I just can't. I just can't do two dogs right now. And if I did, I have to I would go to underdog and adopt. So thank you for saying congrats on 100K, you guys. What should I do for 100K? You let me know what you guys want to see. My idea, I have like a couple things in the works that I'm doing, but I was thinking of just like, I don't know, probably just go camping, but you guys let me know if you want to see anything for the 100k video. Stop buying unreliable junk at Defender. No. Thank you so much. You have really nice eyebrows for living in a car. Thank you. You can thank my parents for giving me eyebrow genetics. <laughs> my dad is so funny, oh my gosh. Was Slab City skinny? Was Slab City scary? No, I didn't think so. I thought it was cool. I would feel safe going there. I I didn't feel um I didn't feel but also you have to keep in mind I'm like oblivious. So, if money resources weren't an issue, what would be your dream rig? Poe is one of them. My other one would be a restored 70s Bronco. Like, fully restored. That would be my dream. Oh my gosh. Sean, thank you. I will go buy an Olipop right after this, actually. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, 
cook your biggest meal ever. This year, I'm gonna do an entire Thanksgiving dinner out of the back of Poe. I can't wait. Gabby said, make an espresso martini in your defender. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I would be, I would be ter- I'm so terrible at just making stuff in general. It'd be awful. Oh my gosh, you guys, it took us 35 minutes to get somebody to ask what my nationality is. I feel like that's the longest we've ever gone without that comment. I'm Italian and Greek and Spanish. All the hot-headed European stuff. So many guys shooting their shot. Eric must be deleting them, because I don't see them. How long could you go without coffee? 24 hours. And that's it. <laughs> you have to find a boyfriend that's a Land Rover mechanic. That would be probably the most helpful thing in my life. <laughs> What's the current count statewide? I don't know. I got, I got it. Everybody asks me that. So I really do need to sit down and think about it and figure it out. But I just have no idea off the top of my head. Okay, let's figure it out right now. No, it's not. It's going to take me too much brain power. I don't know. In a teen somewhere. Sarah, I'm glad you liked Olipop. I love it. What's your coffee order? Depends on where I'm going. If it's Starbucks, it's the uh, venti iced brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso half sweet. If it's any general coffee shop, like a small town, whatever, I usually just get an iced almond milk latte with like half the normal amount of hazelnut or something like that. Just like always half sweet. You're Greek. Yes, I am. Mostly Italian though. It's like majority Italian, then Greek, and then a little bit of Spanish. When's the last time you had oatmeal? It's been too long. I just had the thought today that I need to go buy more oatmeal and put it on the channel because it's, I don't know how that got away from me, but I'm like a eater where I go in phases where like I'll obsess about one meal for like six months. And then I actually think it's an ADHD trait I've been told. I don't know, but I obsess about one meal for like six months and then I get sick of it and then I take a break and then I totally forget about it. And then I come back to it like six months later and then I obsess about it again. I always do that, so I'm just waiting for my oatmeal to kick back in. Uh, did you miss the clean out? No, actually I should still be doing it, but I'm trying to respond to comments. I always try to do two things at once and I never can. Is it true what Cena said about talking to you before your first sip of coffee? It's so funny. Yes and no. Like, he was being facetious. It's not like I'm crazy to him or anything. First of all, he's like the most dramatic person I know. So, like, take that with a grain of salt. But my mom and I call the first hour of when we wake up our defrosting hour. Like, my mom can literally back me up in the comments here. But, like, when we wake up, like, my siblings are like this too. It's like... I need to get coffee in my system for the first hour of the day. Like nobody talked to me. Let me wake up. I'm a zombie. I can't even think like if you try to have a conversation with me about planning something throughout the day and I just woke up, I'm like, like my brain isn't even moving yet. You know what I mean? So it's kind of, it's kind of true, but I'm not like crazy. I just like can't think, <laughs> but also if I saw a subscriber in the first hour of me waking up, I would be so excited. Like I would not be, you know, I would not be a zombie. Sorry, I'm trying to ring.
You're taking that saying defrosting hour, genius. Yeah, my mom and I have always said that. It's so funny. We're just like zombies in the morning. Presley, thank you so much. You don't have to do that, but I appreciate you. Sorry, I'm trying to read. Every time I read, the comment like goes away. So I'm, my brain is not computing. Favorite book? Mm, the 1% Rule, Pride and Prejudice, Chop Wood, Carry Water. I don't know, I have a lot. Do you speak any other languages? I spoke Spanish when I was younger, but I've lost it entirely. Yeah, fun fact, Pride and Prejudice is my favorite movie of all time. The 2005 version, I know every single word, to this day, I could start reciting the movie for you right now as we speak. How long before you swing back around to Michigan? I'll be in Michigan for the holidays for sure, just because I always go home to see my family, but um, yeah, probably December, I don't know. We shall see. Excuse me. Do you go to church on the road? I don't. But I watch it online. What is the best advice you've read and lived by reading from reading your growth books? Life is too short. Literally, life is too short. I say it all the time, but it's like the simplest. It just like it's too short for you guys know. I just, I don't need to do that right now, but you guys know. If you are unhappy in any area of your life, you are your solution. So if you are surrounded by people who are, I always say not serving you, but then people get mad at me for saying that, but I don't mean it like doing what you want. I just mean like, if you don't have good people in your corner, you can change. You can, you can't change people, but you can, you know what I mean? You can change the people around you, that kind of thing. Like make sure you have a really good tribe. You're the sum of the five closest people to you. So like, if you don't like the way your life is going, maybe you should change the people in your life. I'm just saying, um, I take that one very seriously. If you're unhappy in your work, change your job. Like there's always a solution to something. So life is too short for any of that. Just cut out all the crap and live your best happiest life me like giving therapy to myself right now because i need it i've been oh my gosh i've been such a mess the last couple days i can't even tell you did you have a nose job earlier in your life not to be something just curious um i Yes and no, I had a reconstructive surgery on my nose and face plates because when I was two years old, I fell down a flight of stairs and I landed in a railing and I, well, I think it was actually on, well, no, which side was it? I think it was on this side. I cracked, my, I broke my nose. And then since I was so young, my face plates grew around the trauma. And so then I moved to Colorado where like the air is thinner and I couldn't breathe and I went to a doctor about it and he was like you have the worst trauma I've ever seen in 20 years of doing reconstructive surgery and you're going to need several fun fact so I had my first surgery a few years ago it was the worst healing the worst healing process I've ever been through in my whole entire life and I still need another one to finish correcting it and I, I honestly just don't even want to because I'm so scared of that recovery again. It was awful. So yes and no. 
it's so funny too because when i told my mom about me needing surgery the first time she's like it's so funny when you were two like i remember you having this huge thing and i just didn't know Wait, what is going on? Oh, I think my brother just said something. My mom just said the only way to get a reaction of joy in the morning from Maria is to put a Starbucks in her hand while she's still in bed, but you should still leave the room and give her five minutes so there's Starbucks. <laughs> that's so true. It's, if you bring me coffee to bed and that's how you wake me up, then you can wake me up, but you can't wake me up any other way. That is so funny. You're not doing much of cleaning Poe, I know. I just sprayed the window like 20 minutes ago and I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up on comments. But you're right, I should be cleaning. Do I have any regrets of buying a Land Rover since my most recent experiences. No, I don't blame Poe at all. I think Poe is the best still. Love him every day. <laughs> Dad, stop. <laughs> People aren't going to get your humor on here. Favorite road trip snack? Oh my gosh. That is such a great question. Let me show you. These things, chomps, I literally probably have a hundred of them in my car right now. Like I live off of these things. If you have not tried Chomps, this is my new Olipop. I'm obsessed. Ugh, I'm obsessed. So good. Chomps are amazing. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up. Oh my gosh, sorry. The comments are going so fast. Every time I start reading one, it like gets knocked up. It gets knocked up. You know what I mean. You love how close I am to my family. You would love to meet my parents at next year's Overland Expo. Honestly, I should take them to expos. I should. I tried to get my dad. My mom has been in a video with me before. I tried to get my dad to do one and he refuses. So we should all petition to get my dad in a video because that man would be the most entertaining 20 minutes you ever watched. Okay. Let's all bully my dad. You guys, I'm cleaning. Look at me, I'm doing stuff. When did you know this overlanding travel was going to be life? Going to Europe in the future? Yes, I am going to Europe in the future. Um, I started the 50 state road trip back before car, like van life was kind of just starting but car, like truck camping, car camping was not at all a thing, even a little bit. Like this was before the inception of the whole, um, like, what do you even want to call it? Niche or whatever. Um, it was just my solution to traveling with blue without having to pay a lot of money because I was broke and I just wanted to travel and I wanted to take blue. Um, where was I going with that? I already forgot the question. Oh, when did I know it would be life? Well, when I started doing it and then I was like, oh my gosh, I n can never stop. I'm obsessed with it. And then once I started like learning more about stuff I could do to make it better. Um, and then obviously with like, I don't know, just time and experience and doing more of it. I was like, cause it's like, I always tell people when you hit the road, if you are going to plan on doing it, like you'll know in the first month if you can do it long term or not, you're either going to think it's really fun for a week and then you're going to get sick of it. Or you're going to be like, I could, I can't stop. At least that's what I've seen. I just feel like it's pretty much one or the other. So. 
Does that answer your question? I don't know. How's oh, Blue? He's good. He's thriving. He's right here. Chilling. While I'm cleaning. But barely clean. When you hit 100,000, your dad has to come on. Oh my gosh, let me see if he'll be okay with that. That would be amazing. How did I find Eric? Is that... Oh, how did I find Eric? Yeah, I think Eric technically found me. Eric technically found me, but then... Especially, like, back in the days when I had, like, three... Like, before I even had 10,000 subscribers, when I had, like, 1,000 subscribers, I knew every single person that ever commented on my video because it was, like, so rare to get a comment, and Eric was one of them. So when I relaunched the 50-state road trip and Eric commented one time again i was like eric where have you been and then we've been besties ever since wow i'm such a good storyteller <laughs> first time hi Matt Skinner's in here, one of my other buddies. He said, can we have an, a moment of appreciation for Cena? Yeah, we can. Cena and I are kind of beefing right now, so I don't want to, but fine. We can have a moment of appreciation. <laughs> fine. No, yeah, I definitely would have been stranded without him, so props to him for following me up to Expo. You're so blessed to have an amazing dog like Blue. I think about this every day, how lucky I got with this dog. Like, you can't breed in the loyalty that Blue has. Like, I just... A lot of Aussies are the same, but they're not the same dog. You know what I mean? Like, Blue as an individual... I will start crying right now if I think about him ever dying. Like, it just can never happen. You inspire me so much. Thank you so much. Did any other YouTubers inspire you to do what you do? No. I have no... It's so funny. Like, this is kind of a side tangent, but I get a lot of people, too, that'll be, like... They compare me to other people in the field now, and they'll be like, you did this because so-and-so did this. And it's like, I don't think you guys understand. I don't... I don't watch anyone. Like, <laughs> I don't know what anybody else is doing, and I've always just been on my own little corner by myself just being awkward and alone like I just I don't I'm not like that at all so no I nobody inspired anything for me um like I just said I just wanted to travel with blue and so that's what I figured out What's the scariest experience you had while camping? I don't know. I've been lucky where I haven't really been put into any bad situations, I guess. Which is wild because I'm so oblivious. That's my protector right there. Um, when does the cleaning start? I was just cleaning, but I'm getting distracted, guys. Yeah, when I got robbed, it was... It was more, like, invasive and frustrating than it was scary. Because it wasn't like it, somebody took something with, like, a gun on me. You know what I mean? Can you convert Poe to run on veggie oil? You can, actually. You can... Defenders can run on McDonald's grease. Isn't that nuts? Does Cena subscribe to your channel? Yes, he does. Can you imagine if he didn't? That'd be so rude. <laughs> That'd be so rude. Will you go to Canada? Yes, I will. Did 
Did you manage to get out and about at Expo? Did you see any cool gear you're gonna incorporate in your setup? I barely got out on Sunday, which is like the everything dies down and like most people don't go to Sunday. Um, I did like one lap of, and I didn't even see everybody was, that was there. Um, so like when I went to Flagstaff, I wasn't in the expo. I just went as like a, like I bought a ticket and went like everybody else. And so that one, I really got to like look at vendors and talk to people. When I was a part of expo, I more had to stay by Poe and be there for like when people came around to see him. And then my friends were there and they were introducing me and like to a lot of other overlanders. So like my friend Chris from Gone Jeepin was there and he introduced me to a bunch of people. So, um, yeah, I really didn't get to see many vendors, which kind of sucks, but I missed Friday because of like all the breakdowns. Had I been there on Friday, I'm sure I would have seen more people. Are you ever afraid? No, I'm so wildly content just by myself. Like I just don't i'm not paranoid i don't get scared about stuff i don't really think about anything which is probably actually why my dad is so stressed that i'm on the road because he's like you don't even think about anything but no i don't really get scared if i feel uncomfortable i leave a situation and that's about it You definitely have your mom's personality. I don't. I have, well, I think I'm a mix of both parents in some ways, but like my dad and I are like twins. Except yeah, I, I, I'm like my mom in the sense that I'm very like laid back and easy breezy, like everything, like I'm very positive like her, like any everything's good all the time or everything's good, you know? Um, when is your mom going to visit you? Hopefully soon. She was going to come see me a couple months ago, but then it just got so crazy that we didn't end up doing that. But hopefully soon. Hi, how are you? I am very stressed out, to be honest with you guys. I've not been doing so hot the last few days, but that's reality of road life. You know, not everything is happy-go-lucky all the time, so... But yeah, I've kind of been struggling, to be honest. I also haven't eaten today. What time is it? Almost six? Where I'm at, right? West Coast? Oh my gosh. I don't know. Where's your favorite campsite in the US? It's actually in Washington. What's up, M? That's so funny. I've only ever had two people in my whole life call me M. You're stressed because of Poe? No, just like personal life stuff. But like, you know, the road like doesn't, doesn't help sometimes. Twilight or Hunger Games? If you asked me when I was in middle school, I would have said Twilight, but probably Hunger Games now. No, Twilight. Twilight. How do you keep blue clean on the road? I barely do. Was the 10K spent for parts and repairs? Yeah, it was for the breakdowns, the repairs, the gas surrounding the repairs, and then the tow truck which was like $600 in itself. Is it working for you guys? I don't know why it keeps doing that. It says it's working on my end now. I don't know. Yeah, I think we're back now. I think we're good. Cool. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I just kicked off like that. That was weird. I've defrosted. Yes. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am going to wrap it up in the next 
five minutes or so. So hit me with your best shot. If you have any last questions, this is the cleaning that I did. <laughs> Poe is still dirty though? Yeah, he is. The tow truck driver was very nice. He was a very nice guy. What's your favorite go-to fast food? In and out. Thank you, Casper Rio. That is so nice. What's for dinner? I have, I honestly, I'm in a Whole Foods parking lot. I might just go in and get a piece of pizza. I don't know. How was the expo? Amazing. Loved it. Do you meditate or have any other mindful practice? I pray, but I probably should meditate. I've never tried it. My mind is like, I think too much. <laughs> I can never quiet my mind to meditate. I just start thinking about stuff I have to do. Like I'll close my eyes and I'll be like, okay. And then, and then after this, I have to go here. Okay. And then I need to get gas and then maybe like, it just, it never shuts off. Will you holiday at home with the family? I will. I miss my parents. How often do I do lives? I usually do them once a month, but recently I haven't done them the last couple months. Trey, I'm so glad you got a Scotty Grow. Let me know how you feel about it. I love mine. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Oh, what is happening? <laughs> Exploring the unknown always cracks me up. Thinking of visiting Europe? Yes, it's in my plans. Thank you, Haunted Autumn. That's so nice of you. What's my editing program of choice? Adobe Premiere Pro. Love it and hate it. <laughs> but it's what I've learned, so I'll probably never do anything else. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Of course. Do the repairs mean the mods to Poe are on hold for a while? I, I literally... When I tell you guys, I'm about to film a series where I, okay, you guys actually let me know if you want to see this. I think I'm going to film a series because for one, there's so many beginners that watch my channel that want to know like, how can you get into this lifestyle? And also like, if you don't have a lot of money, like how do you get started? I used to live on no money with Rue when I first started in 2017. I'm talking like hundred dollars a week. That's it. Like that was my budget. And so I was thinking because I'm broke now because I put all my money into pose repairs. I might do a week of only spending a hundred dollars living in Poe and show you guys how I used to do it back in the day. Know what I mean? So just like a quick throwback to show you, like you kind of have to suffer a little bit, but I think I'm going to do that. So I was thinking of doing next week so I can save money. But let me know if you guys would want to see that. Yes to it? Okay, well. Is Poe all good now? Kind of. I have an appointment on Tuesday to get a new lift pump and then he should be good to go. I know, I was thinking I almost have to like, to inf like, for inflation, I almost would have to curve it a little bit, but I just, I think I'm still just gonna do a hundred bucks so we can see how I fare. Cause I, that's, that's how I lived like for years, you know, so it's like <laughs> crazy. Eric, stop the Poe hatred. Would you ever re-utter or do a voice over on the older videos with like behind the scenes stories? No, because my older videos are so embarrassing. Never. I would never do that. Oh my gosh. And I also used to talk really different. Like my R's were really hard. <laughs> like I was like over there. Like <laughs> I don't know. Probably just because I wasn't comfortable on camera yet. I don't know, but. Oh my gosh, I don't need that out on the internet. That's for sure. 
What do your necklaces say? This says 1994, and this is nothing. What is it? Pose MPG? It used to be 22, and now it hovers around 18. But I'll, honestly, I think this is my lift pump issue, and like the aloe cab and stuff. I don't know. Please bring back your southern accent. Crystal from the country? I know, I never talk like her anymore. I think I just haven't been alone long enough. Like, I feel like I talk in a country accent when I'm like, I've been alone so long I'm like losing my mind. You know what I mean? And I'll be like, what incarnation is happening? But now I'm just like, been around the cities too much. What year is Poe? I'm shopping for a D90. Poe is a 1997. Go to Joel. Go to Power Stands Import Export on Facebook. Tell him I sent you. He will help you out if you're shopping for a D90. Joel will set you up. Any meetups in the near future? I don't know. Like, I don't know how to organize them myself. You know what I mean? Like, if I... Expo was great because it's... You just would go to Expo or something, but... I don't know how to organize a meetup by myself. And then what if no one came? You know that would happen to me. <laughs> Thank you, Tori. Oh my gosh. Mountains. Yeah, mountains. I constantly say know what I mean now because of you. That's so funny. I don't even realize that I say that. I guess I do say that a lot, huh? Know what I mean? Thank you, Wayne. Oh my gosh, you guys are so nice to me. You don't have to do that. Did you get your cast iron pans figured out? It's literally sitting on the floor of Poe in the back right now. I never use it. Honestly, I was thinking of giving it away to someone because I never use it. But then it's like when you need it, you need it, and then I wouldn't have it, you know? I don't know. But it's so heavy. <sighs> Anyways. Do you like sweet tea? I don't know. I don't know that I've ever really had like good sweet tea before. Like authentic, you know? Maybe, I don't know. Honestly, I haven't probably tried it. Is the aloe cab getting easier to put down? It has been with Cena because he just puts it down. But by myself, I have to use the ratchet strap still. Starby's order, venti, iced, brown sugar, oat milk, shake and espresso, half sweet, venti ice water too, and a pop cup, thank you. My mom said, I love it when you come home after being alone for a long time, it's hilarious, because like last time I came home to see my mom, I, I can't remember, I don't, can't remember what happened, mom, what happened? I was like in her laundry room, dying laughing about something that made no sense and i was like i think i've been alone too long and she's like you have like you don't know how to interact with people anymore but that happens if you spend like two months on the road in the woods and then you don't talk to anybody and then you go talk to somebody come on so funny mom do you remember what that story was i can't remember why i was laughing so hard do you like video games they're okay. Um, when I was younger, I used to play like Zelda and Animal Crossing and Mario Kart and stuff, but that was like when I was seven. I honestly, I'm not like a gamer now. Both my siblings are. Like when we all go home for the holidays and it's me and my brother and my sister, they will be playing Red Dead Redemption and I'll just be sitting next to them watching them and like hanging out, but they play and I don't play. You know what I mean? They also both play guitar and I don't. Like they they do stuff i just do that i just am alone in the woods have you ever driven super far to a destination and not been able to find a dispersed camping spot yes it just happened to me this week You were wearing a SF sweatshirt. Where'd you get it? I don't know what you're talking about. What SF? What does that mean? Is Topo merch getting made? I don't know. Should I? I think it's kind of funny, but I don't... 
Like, if you guys want t-shirts, I'll make it, but... <laughs> it's kind of more of an inside joke, I think. Rhea, come do a backcountry bow hunt with me in October. Christian, I would love to. Tell me when and where. Do you think it was worth all the hassle to go to Overland Expo? Yes, it was. I, in my opinion, it was. I met great people. I think it was awesome. I had a blast. I loved it. I would do it all over again, but I definitely am forming new gray hair because of it. I'll say that. Are you the oldest or youngest of your siblings? I am the middle child. And I act like the middle child. 100% I'm middle child syndrome. I'm like, no one loves me. Do you do your editing in Poe or do you stop at a Starbucks? Um, I do both, but I prefer to edit inside Poe. Like by myself at night before bed. It's kind of when I edit. What's the hottest temperature you've ever camped in? Like 108, maybe? My mom said when I was alone too long in the woods and then I went to her house after that I was also saying weird things and talking to her like I talked to Blue. Because <laughs> Blue's my only interaction. That is so funny. Hey, it happens. What advice do you have for beginners just starting out? Do your research. Research everywhere you're gonna go. Um, be really aware of your surroundings. Don't take too much stuff. Everybody takes way more than they think they need. Start with the absolute basics and as you camp and as you go, buy things that will help you. But don't think you have to have everything and then go because then you're gonna be stuck with all this crap you don't need. So, Do you get a lot of financial support from your parents? I don't never have never not once my parents raised me and my siblings to go after what you want by yourself they're like we gave you the tools now go do it but no money all every road trip dime has come from me you seem so self-confident that it's hard to believe that you're awkward. It's a weird dichotomy because I am both. I'm very confident and I'm also so wildly awkward. You know? It's like, you know, what it is is I'm awkward and I don't care. I love that I'm just holding this. but I'm just like, talk, like I'm trying to stop talking with my hands. I'm just holding this. Never mind, Rhea. Mom's going, Christian, you can't just replace me on a hunt because mom said she wanted to go. We all can go, you know? See, this is why I have middle child syndrome, because you just replaced me. Newbies, buy the cheapest stuff possible. You may hate it in a month. I would agree and disagree with that. I think if it's something that's not that important, buy cheap. But also, I have learned that it's better to invest in high-quality products that will last you years than like have to replace stuff all the time. That was a hard lesson for me to learn, because I hate buying stuff. Do you have a job outside of YouTube? I do not. I'm just all in. I'm a really all or nothing kind of gal. Like with everything in my life. I'm just like 100% in it or I'm 100% out. That's why I can't date in today's society. Okay? So I'm like either getting married or I'm not talking to you. Have you ever seen aliens or bears while camping? Neither. One time I was at a BLM campsite. This is so funny. And I, there was like a cow coming through, like a black cow through the bushes. And I thought it was a bear. And I was shake. I put blue in the car and I was shaking, taking a video. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's a bear. And a cow came out. I only sent that video to Christian because I was like freaking out. And it was so embarrassing. So Christian has that video somewhere. <laughs> Never seen a bear in real life. Besides like, you know, zoo or whatever. Zoos are awful though. Don't support zoos. Hi, 
Hi, good morning. Are you thinking of upgrading Poe with modern running gear? I don't know what that means. Are you a fan of the Chicago Blackhawks? My friend Gabby and I went to a few games this year. I wouldn't say I'm a fan, I'm more of a Colorado Avalanche fan. I guess I'm a fan. Not like a diehard fan though. Like when the Avs played the Blackhawks, I was rooting for the Avs, you know what I mean? Go Avs, go. Best gym clothes brand? I'm wearing Gymshark right now. How are you doing? I'm all right. You guys, honestly, I should probably just get off live. Like, what am I doing? What apps do you use for GPS, video editing, VPN? VPN, Surfshark, video editing, Premiere, Adobe Premiere Pro, GPS. I go back and forth between Apple Maps and Google Maps for different things. Google Maps screws me over. Apple Maps also sucks, but I, so I do Apple Maps for driving because Google Maps will just throw you out of the way for no reason. But I, if I want to go to like a restaurant or a Starbucks or something, I find the location of which one I want to go to in Google Maps because it has like pictures of the storefronts more than Apple does. Does that make sense? Oh my gosh, there's two guys talking about my <laughs> rig right now. I just heard him go, that's the 300 TDI. Waze also screwed me over and took me the wrong route. So I didn't, I stopped using it. I know I do need to eat. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Are you coming into contact with Canadian smoke? I will be. All right, you guys, I'm going to call this live in a minute. If you could dispense one condiment from your belly button on demand, what would it be? That is the best question I've ever been asked. Ranch. <laughs> I'm from Michigan. It's just, it's in our, I'm surprised it's our, not in our bloodstream, you know? Now that you're a chef, you should raffle off, what did it say? Sorry, your question got lost. I couldn't read the second half of that. Bangladesh, oh my gosh, that's so far. Guys, ranch is the only answer. Thank you, Justin, that's so sweet. Oh, you guys are being so nice. All right, you guys, I am going to call this live because it's been an hour and a half almost. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you. Sorry that I barely, barely cleaned. <laughs> Bubby, say goodbye. Oh, oh, Papa Lou. Oh, my goodness. Look how sleepy he is. Tell me that's not the cutest dog you've ever seen in your whole life. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye.